Hey there fellow traders, welcome back to Insider Financial. In this video we will discuss the stocks on our radar. First, our profile from today was up double digits and closed in the green. Another urgent situation has just been brought to our attention. This one is sitting in the same price range as our profile from today. Pull up PBM immediately. This is a highly unique situation. We have seen this one fall from around 50 cents over the last three weeks to just 14 cents currently. The significant event that took place today was that PBM finally reversed after the company provided an update. It closed up 11% on interest towards the higher side of their recent average on news. According to the news release, Following the initiation of patient screening, Science Biomed seeks to enroll its Phase 2B study as efficiently as possible and projects top-line data availability towards the end of next year that, if positive, will support the initiation of a pivotal Phase 3 trial as soon as practical thereafter. To better support this program, Science Biomed has partnered with Optimi Health as an exclusive supplier of GMP nature-derived uh, silibacin extract for future Phase 3 trials as well as subsequent commercialization should negotiations between the parties be successful. The update further announced Science Biomed's planned second development indication, which will evaluate GMP nature-derived psilocybin as a potential treatment for substance use disorders, including alcohol use disorder, and states that it has entered into an agreement with a third-party private company, Silabs, to be the exclusive supplier of highly purified psilocybin extract exclusively for these indications. The news release goes on to state that Science Biomed has signed a conditional binding term sheet for the proposed acquisition of psilocybin-based drug development clairvoyant therapeutics, which if implemented introduces a synthetic psilocybin-based therapeutic candidate that nicely complements Science Biomed's ongoing nature-derived psilocybin development programs, expands the clinical pipeline into AUD, which is alcohol use use dis disorder and if successful will transition science biomed to a commercial stage revenue generating company finally science biomed reports that is entered into agreements to secure critical funding required to advance these initiates and that expense expects to obtain sufficient capital to execute its strategy at current levels the market cap is just 2.32 million dollars but don't just take our word for it. Start your research. To read our full report on PBM, click that link in the description or go to insiderfinancial.com. There is no spam and your info is never shared. You can unsubscribe anytime. You can even sign up. Just see the level of research we do here at Insider Financial and unsubscribe. Moving on, uh, U.S. stocks on Wednesday were unable to hold on to their gains and eventually ended lower in a highly volatile last hour of trading. The moves come came after the Fed delivered a supersized 50 basis point rate cut with Chair J uh, Fed Chair Jay Powell adding that policymakers were in no rush to ease policy. Immediately after the FOMC rate decision at 2 p.m., the three major averages spiked to session highs at the, with the benchmark S&P 500, taking out a new all-time intraday high at 5689.75. Uh, the gauges then eased back and proceeded to whipsaw uh, in choppy trade, finally slipping into negative territory just before the closing bell. The FOMC's widely expected rate cut was its first since the COVID-19 pandemic over four years ago. The committee reduced its key policy rate by 50 basis points to 4.75% to 5%, bringing an end to debate among market participants over the size of the anticipated rate cut would be. Notably, the FOMC's de decision was not unanimous. 11 of the 12 committee members voted for a 50 basis point rate cut, while Governor Michelle Bowman opted for a smaller quarter-point cut. This was the first descent by a Fed governor since 2005. 
Fed Chair Jerome Powell at the post-decision press conference said the half-point cut was driven by downside risk to the labor market and this was the start of a recalibration towards more neutral monetary policy. He also added that the Fed was in no rush to cut and would still take decisions meeting by meeting. Meanwhile, the Fed's updated summary of economic projections or the dot plot further projected two quarter point or one half point half point rate cut in the rest of the year. So guys, uh, the market was uh, caught off guard. There was talk of the 50 basis point, 25 was was already priced in. Um, and then I think what concerned the market is that Powell is in no rush. Uh, market participants were, were forecasting as much as 125 basis point rate cuts for the rest of the year. Uh, the dot plot is only forecasting 50 basis points. Um, so I think the market uh, is just uncertain. But in the after hours, if you look here, I mean, Bitcoin has caught a bid, which is indeed bullish. It's a sign of risk on uh, sentiment. So I think what we're going to do is start to see the market uh, bounce as it was a dovish dovish overall uh, sense and it's basically saying that the economy is still strong but not too strong not too weak so it basically gave everyone uh, sort of what they wanted and then you just get the today what would end up happening is the last hour choppy trading I tried not to trade uh, fed days just because you really don't know what the market wants to do the market will it, it tends to have these knee-jerk reactions, like we saw on the on the like the SPY. You saw the market make a new a new all-time intraday high, then sell off. So you got that spike, and then the reverse. Very very typical. Um, price action. Uh, the names on my uh, short squeeze uh, list are, are, are popping uh, today. Uh, intuitive Machines uh, jumped as much as 66% to, to touch a seven-month high uh, after saying it won a NASA contract with a top value of $4.82 billion. I traded this one with calls. I uh, ended up getting stopped out. I really thought uh, we were going to get a massive move today, uh, but it did didn't have the the juice. Uh, there is a big short position in LUNR, but again, uh, if the momentum's not there, the price action is going to pull off. So I'll be watching this one tomorrow to see if it's got uh, more legs, uh, see if there's any trade set up. But again, it was big news. And the contract would has a base period of five years. An additional five-year option period is for a communication and navigation services network for missions in what's known as the near space region. As part of the contract, uh, will uh, LUNR will deploy lunar relay satellites and provide communication navigation services for the Artemis campaign to establish a long-term presence on the move. Uh, NASA has a tentative schedule to launch the Artemis 2 mission, which will send four astronauts around the moon and back to Earth no earlier than September 2025. Uh, the Artemis 3 mission will bring people to the lunar surface for the first time since 1972. The goal is to land near the moon's southern pole and uh, and stay for 10 days uh, doing scientific research. The mission won't be uh, before uh, September 2026, uh, according to NASA. Uh, again, almost 25% of the float is short. That's what really, you know, I focus on. Uh, but again, here you see a uh, red candle that is a sign most likely we will go lower. So again, uh, sort of bearish price action here into the close. But again, you got this gap up here. And if it does start break taking out to it closed uh, on the lows. Uh, so again, if it takes out the lows, uh, we will uh, do that gap fill. Um, let's see here. The unmanned Artemis 1 mission took place two years ago as the first flight of NASA's Orion spacecraft and space launch system rocket around the moon. The main goal was to test Orion's equipment, such as its heat shield that protects the craft on re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. So again, you know, what I'm doing here is, you know, with these short squeezes is, uh, you know, you got to keep the stops tight, but you're looking for that move, you know, and, you know, if you get that move, you know, it really, really pays. So again, we're looking for the, you know, for the shorts to get squeezed. Um, and again, if it's there, it's, it, it, you'll make a lot of money. If it's not just again, keep that small loss. So it's all about a risk reward setup. 
Um, I, lastly, I will also be scanning the pre-market. If I see anything else, I will let subscribers know. However, uh, Thursday's primary focus is PBM. Uh, make sure you read our full report and do your research. And as always, good luck to all except the shorts. At Insider Financial, we put stocks on your radar with potential outsized moves. As I repeatedly stated, there are always opportunities in the markets daily. The important thing is identifying which stocks to invest in to grab that money. The key is trading green, not red. We are looking for those momentum plays with catalysts. It's all about finding momentum before it happens and riding that wave. That's what we're doing here at Insider Financial. And to get our small cap reports, we cover low floats, short squeezes, recent IPOs, biotech FDA plays, AI stocks, EV stocks stocks, lithium stocks, and insider buying. Click that link in the description or go to insiderfinancial.com. No spam. Your info is never shared. Unsubscribe anytime. You can even sign up. Just see the level of research we do here at Insider Financial and unsubscribe. Finally, thanks to Sure Thing Media for sponsoring this video on PBM. Insider Financial and I are not investment advisors. This video does not provide investment advice. Always do your research, make your own investment decisions, or consult with your nearest financial advisor. This video is a solicitation recommendation by Seller Hold Security. Securities. This video is our opinions meant for informational and educational purposes only and does not provide investment advice. Past performance is not indicative of future performance. Thanks for joining us today on Insider Financial. Hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to never miss the latest insights and strategies. Until next time, happy trading. Bye-bye.